When you create a new model in Carveco, you will be greeted with the new model dialog. You can then choose the unit of measurement and change the size of the material you are working with. We will discuss resolution in a later video in a lot more depth. For the moment I'm setting this at its maximum. You can set your origin or zero position by selecting either a corner on the white box or in the centre as shown. When you have finished select OK and Carveco will create a new model at the specified sizes. If you take a look under the model information section it will show you the size of the model and its resolution. If you wish to have an indication on the model of the size you are working in, you can turn on the rulers by selecting the View drop-down menu and selecting Show Rulers. This will then show the rulers in the 3D view at the edge of the model. This is because the view can be rotated and in the 2D view they will be at the very edge. Snapping Snapping is basically a way to make your cursor stick to a defined point. For instance, the midpoint of a model area. As the cursor hovers over somewhere near the midpoint, it will change. This means that it has found the midpoint and will lock onto it even though the cursor is not exactly on the centre. If I click there, it will lock onto the midpoint and I can do the same for the other side of the model area. This can also be done using lines and circles, which we commonly call vectors. Whether to just make sure that something is touching the line, or to find endpoints, centres or midpoints. There is also an option under the View drop-down, and within the Snapping section, to turn on Snap Hints. This will show a small black circle, when within a larger area of a snap point, to give you some sort of idea where there may be a snap point. This works in the 3D view as well. Remember when using this, it is just a hint. If you click when you see a black circle, it will not snap to this point as the cursor has not changed. In order to snap, you still need to get close enough for the cursor to change, which will snap. The snap hints do exactly that, give hints to where the snap points are. Grids. You can also set up a grid and snap to this. You can enable this by going to the View drop-down in the Snapping section, this time select Snap Grid Settings. This will then open up the dialog box where you can enter the value for the grid spacing. To turn this on or make it visible, you have to select the View drop-down again and select Snap, Draw On or Off. Now that this mode is selected, it will snap to points on the grid when you click the mouse. Guidelines. If you wish, you can use guidelines to help in the creation of vectors. There are a couple of ways to create guidelines. One is to right click and select to insert a guideline, or you can go to the 2D view and just drag inwards from the vertical rule or downwards from the horizontal one. Once you have done this, you can double click on the guideline and it can be edited. The position can be moved and locked to prevent accidentally moving it. Offsets can be made by creating a relative offset at a specified distance and selecting how many copies are required. To delete any guidelines, just double click on the guideline and select delete. Guidelines can also be used as snap points, so you can use them when creating a design.